So look at this, I got another Snapper Big Six. This is a Snapper Ninja recycling mulcher. Big Six with the shroud cover broken on it, unfortunately. This was very near my house. A couple had just bought this home and this lawnmower was located in the back of the house and they're just throwing it out. It is no telling how long it's been there or the last time it's ran. It's pretty rusty in there. Definitely been outside for a long time. You can see they attempted to glue the cover. Very creative. And this only had the side chute with it. No duct tape holding anything together like my last one that I got earlier this year. This is a throttle. Looks like all the self-propelled is at least working, cable and all. This is pretty froze up, it's not sliding. So we'll have to look at that. I don't want to force any of this since it's been sitting outside. Muffler is not rusted on it. Got a little bit of rust on the outside. I think it'll clean up pretty nice. I'll show these wheels. And it was full of oil and it was clean too, or fairly clean. At least it wasn't black. And I am not sure what this is, but somebody painted some numbers on here. Hard to say. Primer bulb engine, a little slow retracting, but not bad. And we have spider webs, all in this, and a very strange looking spark plug. And it does not have the ninja blade on it. That blade doesn't look in very good shape either. It's got a chunk missing there. So I really like these lawnmowers here. They're very easy to work on and look forward to bringing this back to life. Compression seems to be a little bit low on it. Let's take a look at the air filter in here. So that screw was really tight in there. And the good thing is it does have an air filter. Oh, it's got one of those covers in there as well for the filter. Doesn't look that bad. The screen doesn't look bad either. I am sure that's the original. There's no gas in here whatsoever. Primer bulb engine. A little slow retracting but not too bad. And here is the serial number on the snapper. This is model RP2 one six hundred. We have a lot of rust on this drive wheel, but that can be cleaned. That pulley bearing may be bad, not sure yet. But this drive wheel has a lot of rubber left on it. These have the smaller wheels on here, they're kind of cracked. Cracked in the center. I'm going to spin this over a few times and see if the compression feels any better. Now it's got a little bit. I really like these lawnmowers. This will clean up very nicely. It's a shame this cover or shroud is broke. But let's put some carburetor cleaner in here and see if it tries to do anything. Took the spark plug out, doesn't look bad. Not sure what brand this is, but that is the number on here. Just gonna squirt a little bit of gas in here with one of these pet syringes and see if this big six will do anything. 
whatsoever. And this also does not have a rope handle up here as well. So it looks like you start it down here. So we got the handle tied back. Let's see if it'll do anything at all here. Well, it tried. It sure did. Well, it did attempt to at least fire, so that's a good sign. I did put a little gas in here since the tank was dry. And we're just going to try to see if anything happens here. Alright, let's see if it does anything. Oh wow, that's a good sign. Oh, I got a little bit of leakage here from this primer bulb. That's not good. There is hope for the Snapper Big Six. And I noticed this carburetor started leaking, so this float is stuck in here for sure. So I've pinched this fuel line for now. We're gonna clean this up really pretty. And we're gonna take this carburetor off. We're gonna bring this Snapper Ninja back to life. You'll see more videos on this.